Okay, so what we have today, we have some opalized petrified wood that we've already cut. And it doesn't look like much, but let me tell you what, the colors on these are pretty awesome. So that's what this looks like on the outside. You got a little one here. You have another one here. This one's actually pretty cool. You actually see the, the heart of the stone right there. It's kind of visible on both sides. But you can't quite tell because we still have to sand these. You can see the heart on the wood on this one too. It's kind of cool. You see on both sides. But you can't see it on the inside. Because, again, we still have to sand these and polish them. So let's go do that. We're going to start with the 100 grit sanding disc. What we have here is some um, opalized petrified wood and here in the cracks and crevices we have the cerium oxide polish that is seeped in there and we want to get that out because you can use this you can try to use a brush or a scrub brush but it's not going to get that out uh, the scrub brush will work kind of on the outside a little bit but um, either a steam cleaner or pressure washer is honestly the best to use on this and it's super easy to use steam cleaner right here watch so let's work on this one right here Take a little bit longer because the cerium's in there pretty good, but some of the other spots are a little easier to get. So I rinse off the stone as I'm working just to kind of keep the cerium oxide from re-drying onto the surface that I just cleaned. So the steam cleaner did not work like I hoped it would because these cracks and crevices go pretty deep and there's not enough pressure to really get in there and get the cerium oxide out. So the next step that we're going to use is a low grade electric pressure washer that I got at Home Depot some time ago and we're going to use that to get all the cerium oxide out of these cracks and crevices. But we have to be very careful because you can kind of see that this piece has a lot of natural imperfections. In the, in the stone itself and there's always that chance that um, that water pressure getting in there at just the right angle and actually busting out one of these sides so you have to be very careful that's gonna be our next step until we actually use that step we're gonna soak this in water that way the cerium oxide does not fully dry so 
uh, I'll meet you guys in the morning. All right, it's the morning, the morning of. All right, got our pressure washer here, and my glove, protect my hands, and again, gotta watch the pressure on all these cracks so I don't break the stone, and here we go. So we're gonna start with this big one here. So these are all opalized wood. I thought maybe agatize at first, but once I started cutting and sanding and polishing, it turns out it's opal. So here we are. This one sells a little, a little bit of water on there. But check that out. Isn't that beautiful? You have a little knot right there. Hell, a little knot. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Hear that water? That's beautiful material. Took a pretty good polish too. Get these out of the way. Now we have this one right here. So this is the, the round. We're gonna have the heart of the stone right here. And here's the inside. Beautiful. Still see some of the wood grain. I'll zoom in a little bit. Just look at that. It's just absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Now opal is fairly difficult to take a good polish. It is similar to obsidian in a way where it, uh, it scratches easily. Then we have this little piece. Got a nice little nub right there where a branch probably was. This is what it looked like on the inside. Beautiful. It's such beautiful pieces. And then we have this one. You have the heart of the wood on both sides. Figured it might be that color. Well, it wasn't. That's still okay though. Just look at that coloring. So beautiful. Let's zoom in a little bit. Look at that. Beautiful. Kind of looks like a harpy's head or an eagle's head. Get the beak, got the, the main part of the head, and then where the ears would be back here. The things you see in stones. Here we have the other side. This side has something unique. I'll show it here in a second. See that iridescent color down there? That is most likely um, a fracture of some kind, but I'm not 100% certain on that, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, we're gonna use the light of the genie to help show this one. But see that color right there? Right where thumbs at. Like I said, that is most likely a uh, a fracture in the stone, but it's hard to know for for certain. Either way, it's just a really cool feature, and uh, these all turned out really nice. So let me know which ones were your favorite, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always appreciate all you guys' comments, your feedback, likes what have you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Rock on.